Hello, welcome to our 45 minute workout. We are going to use one medium dumbbell today. So I have a 10 here, as long as you can do like overhead squats or do an overhead press with one hand, you should be good. We're gonna do a nice long warm up, then we're gonna get into the workout, one circuit today, full body, and then we'll do a stretch. So let's get you nice and warm. We'll start with your jumping jacks. You can go ahead and jump it for high impact or you can step it with me for low impact. Hands are all the way up and all the way down. 10 seconds down, 10 to go, then we're gonna stay nice and wide for our side lunges. In five, three, two, one, side lunges. Nice wide side, lun side lunge, bend one knee at a time. Hinge with those hips, see if you can tap that foot or come to the knee or the shin. And if you wanna make that stretch bigger, you know what to do, just pop up on that heel, toe up to the ceiling. In seven, in five, we'll bring the feet together next. Three, two, one hip openers, open up that hip, bring it back, switch to the other side, big step over, big step back, keep that body moving. Five more seconds, then we're gonna do some kick toes. In three, two, one, kick toes. You're gonna lift up one leg way higher than me, bring it up, see if you can tap the opposite foot. I'm gonna tap my knee instead, because I'm not making it over there. Five seconds, three, two, one, skater steps, cross it back, touch the floor with the same hand as the back knee. If the floor isn't within your mobility, you're gonna tap the knee or the shin. Push those hips out to the side, five more seconds. Three, two, one, let's find a nice wide bottom squat position and then straighten the legs. See if you can find that hamstring stretch. Then drop the hips into that bottom squat again and then straighten those legs. Find that hamstring stretch. So we are just rocking back and forth from our bottom squat into our hamstrings. Three, two, one, squats up and down. Sit and stand. 10 seconds. Then we'll go into some butt kicks. In seven, in five. Get down nice and low. Three, two, one, butt kicks. You can jog it for high impact or step it with me for low impact. Heels coming right up to the butt. Loosening up those quads in seven seconds. We'll loosen them up even more with a quad stretch. In five, three, two, one. Alternating quad stretch. Grab your foot, bring it up to your butt two or three seconds, then switch. Same thing on the other side. Little stretch, little test of that balance, but we're keeping it moving, keeping it dynamic. In three, two, one, we're just gonna touch those toes, rolling down nice and relaxed on one, and then hinging down like a deadlift on the next. Roll it down, roll it up, hinge and stand. Roll it down, roll it up, hinge and stand. One more time, three, two, one, side bends and twists. Side bend each way, stretch at those obliques, twist each way, wake up that back. Side bend, side bend, twist and twist. Keep going through that combo and then we'll go into some arm circles in five, in three, two, one. Let's do our arm circles, big circles back, loosen up those shoulders. Full body today, so we gotta get everything ready to go. In three, two, one, open and hug, stretch at your chest and your back. Five more seconds, then we've got some inchworm push-ups. In three, two, one, inchworm push-ups. Touch those toes, walk forward to your plank. Give me a push-up on your toes or your knees, and then walk back in, stand it up, do it all again. Five more seconds, then we'll do downward dog plank T opens in three, two, one. Push back to downward dog, feel that stretch there. How good does that feel? Pull through to your plank, T opens right, and left. You can always modify by just doing downward dog into your plank or by dropping to your knees as you pull through to that plank. In three, two, one, plank, deep lunge, twisting reach towards that front leg, back to your plank, over to the other side for the same thing. If you wanna modify, just bend that back knee so the stretch isn't quite as big or it's not as demanding on your core. Five seconds, in three, two, 
One, come down, bend that back knee. We're gonna lean forward into that stretch. Feel that back quad and hip. Now straighten the front leg, hop up on the heel. If you can, pull yourself in to feel the hamstring. Let's rock back and forth, leaning into the front leg, sitting back on that back leg. Five more seconds, then we'll switch sides. Three, two, one, switch sides. Same thing, lean into it, and then sit back, straighten that front leg. Back and forth, feeling the back leg, the quad and the hip, and the hamstring of the front leg. Five more seconds, then all four wrist stretches. And three, two, one. Come on over to your hands and your knees. We're gonna lean forward. We're gonna put that weight right onto the hands, and then come back, fingertips face you as you lean back. So we get an amazing wrist stretch. Fingertips forward, lean forward, fingertips back, Lean back, keep switching, putting that weight onto the hands, waking up those wrists. In three, two, one, fingertips forward, cat to cow. You're gonna arch the back, look up at that ceiling, and then round the back, look at the legs. Take your time, nice and slow, full range of motion, trying to release any tension that we're holding in that back. Five more seconds, then child's pose to cobra. In three, Two, one, sit back in child's pose. Relax for two or three seconds. Feel a stretch in your hips and your upper back, and then pull through. Drop the hips, drop the shoulders, look up at the ceiling, feel that stretch in your abs and your low back. We can go back and forth again. Child's pose into cobra. From this one, let's push all the way back to a little crouch, three pulse hamstring stretch. So find a crouch, three little pulses, straighten the legs, stay as close to the floor as you can. Let's come down and do it again. And let's squeeze in one more. And then gently roll yourself up. All right, if you haven't grabbed it, grab your one medium dumbbell. We are gonna be doing one big circuit today. We are gonna be working for one minute at a time, but in that minute, we're gonna do like three or four moves, okay? So we're gonna split up those moves by like usually around 20 seconds each move. One move into the next until we finish that minute of work, then we get to rest and we move on to some other stuff. First move is gonna be overhead squats. Now, if this is a new move for you, be gentle with yourself, be kind to yourself, because this has a lot of shoulder mobility, ankle mobility, it is a full body move, it is way harder than it looks. We're gonna hold both sides of that dumbbell overhead. I recommend going into a nice wide squat stance that's gonna get more room for your hips, easier on your ankles. So we're gonna come down and up, Holding the arms nice and straight with that dumbbell overhead. Watch your back, no arch, no round. Keep it neutral, keep that head in line with your spine. Ways you can make this a little bit easier if it's new to you or if it's just not feeling comfy today, stay up a little bit higher. Don't worry about how low you're getting in that squat just yet. If it's still too much, you can always try a front rack position instead of overhead position. We're only there for 20 seconds, you ready? In three, two, one, hold it up, let's go. Overhead squats, down and up. Shoulders are down away from those gears, okay? Leave some space, keep those arms nice and straight. Whew, eight seconds. Then we're gonna hang out at the bottom for a bit in five, three, two, one. Hang out at the bottom, press it up, press it up, press it up. Only 20 seconds, feeling that bottom squat position. Feeling those shoulders. In seven seconds, front rock. We're gonna step it forward and back. In three, two, one. Keep it here. Forward and back. Forward and back. Forward and back. You got it. 10 seconds down, 10 to go. 10 seconds down, 10 to go. We can do this. Now just five seconds, you get to rest. In three, two, one, rest. Ooh, okay, here's what's up. We gotta repeat that exact same thing. Now we know those moves. We're gonna do it two more times through. Overhead squats, bottom squat, overhead presses, front rack, duck walk, two forward, two back. And five, here we go. Three, two, one, round two of three. Down and up. How those glutes doing? How those shoulders doing? 10 seconds down. 10 to go. You got this. One round down. 
A little comfier with that move now. In three, two, one, hold the bottom. Let's get those presses in. Shoulders to overhead. Try to stay low in that squat. Find your pace, find your rhythm. Halfway there, in 10 seconds, front rack. Two steps forward, two steps back. In three, two, one, forward and back. Forward and back. Right, left, right, left. Keep it going. 10 seconds down, 10 to go. Stay low. In seven, in five, three, two, one, rest. We did it twice. We just gotta do it one more time. Take a breath, relax your limbs. You still got 14 seconds. Round three of three, same three moves. In eight seconds, back to those overhead squats. One more time, you ready? Here it goes, three, two, one. Last set, best set, down and up. Feeling the quads, feeling the glutes, feeling the hips, feeling the shoulders, feeling the abs, a great full body move. Seven seconds, then we're gonna stay at the bottom. We got some overhead presses to do. Three, two, one, get down. Press it, shoulder to overhead. We are hanging out in that squat, making those presses that much harder, but you can do this. Halfway there already. In eight seconds, forward and back, we're gonna walk it. In five, three, two, one. Step it forward and back. Forward and back. All about those glutes. 12 seconds and we get to rest. We get new moves, okay? Work for those new moves. Work for that rest. In seven, in five, in three, two, one, rest. Shake it out and breathe. Good news, the legs get a little break. Overhead tricep extensions next. We're gonna hold both sides of that dumbbell, just like we were. Elbows mostly pointing forward. Keeping that core tight, back flat, ready? Three, two, one, bend and straighten. Now watch that in this overhead position, we are not arching that back. We are keeping a strong core to protect that back. We're only here for 20 seconds, seven seconds to go, but then we're gonna pulse at the bottom. In three, two, one, let's pulse it out. Don't let it rest, little tiny, pulses in five seconds we're going to hold at the bottom again we're not going to let it rest three two one hold for ten seconds it is not resting on your body feel those triceps in five seconds back to the overhead tricep extensions three two one straighten it up back down no elbow clicking no elbow pain if you are adjust that form check in with yourself or maybe you have to drop that weight to a little something lighter in ten seconds we get to rest but you know we repeat in seven, in five, in three, two, one, rest. Okay, drop that weight. Give yourself a second to recover. Stretch out those triceps. Shake it out, whatever you need. One down, two to go. So in 10 seconds, back to those overhead tricep extensions. Overhead tricep extensions, pulses, hold, and back to the tricep extensions. Here we go. Three, two, one, let's move that body, bend and straighten. We are gonna feel this tomorrow. 15 seconds, bend and straighten. Find that burn, get cozy. In seven seconds, we're gonna pulse. In three, two, one, let's pulse. Little tiny pulses. As soon as you start coming up, you come back down. In five seconds, we hold. If you're struggling, get wide, get low, brace that core. Three, two, one, hold for 10, don't let it rest. Let the muscles do the work. In five seconds, straighten it up. Three, two, one, all the way up, all the way down. Oh my goodness, round two is no joke. 15 seconds, then we get to rest. Come on, let's get to that rest in 12, in 10, in seven, we're so close. Five more seconds, three, two, one, rest, a well-deserved rest. Relax those arms, two down. We still have one to go, okay? We can do hard things, we got this. 
Shake it out, nice little pool noodle arms. In 10 seconds, back to those overhead tricep extensions. Take a breath, get ready, we're doing it. In three, two, one. Let me see you put in that work. Bend and straighten. Whew, it's bad when rep one feels bad. 12 seconds, then we get to pulse. You're doing awesome. Seven seconds, getting stronger every time you lift that dumbbell up. And three, two, one. Let's pulse. Stay at the back. Little pulses. These are only 10 seconds. Five seconds left, then we hold. And three, two, one. Hold for 10. Oh, breathe through it. We're going to our tricep extensions in five, three, two, one. Straighten it up. Back down. Up and down, squeezing those reps. 15 seconds of work, then we get to rest and we get new moves, okay? Let's get to those new moves in 10. In eight. In five. Three, two, one, rest. Wow, that was tough stuff. Okay, we got side lunges. We're gonna hold the dumbbell in the same hand as the opposite leg. So one leg is gonna step out, the other hand is holding the dumbbell. Big side lunge, drive that knee, overhead press. We're gonna do 20 seconds on one leg before we switch legs nice and wide, and we just alternate, then we'll go into the other side. Ready? Let's do it. Big step out, drive and press. Back to that step out, back to the drive and press. Try to find that balance, connect with that core, and if you're struggling on that one leg, tap, then drop, tap, then step up. Three, two, one, alternating side lunges. One leg, up and over to the other leg, switching hands and legs, every rep. In 10 seconds, right into the other side for our side lunge knee drive, overhead press. In five, three, two, one, side lunge, knee drive, overhead press. Right back out for the same thing. Find that control, find that range of motion, feeling the outer glute, the inner thigh, and the shoulder. In seven, whoop, in three, two, one, rest. Same thing, two more times, then we get to move on. Side lunge, knee drive, overhead press, alternating side lunges, over to the other leg. Eight seconds, you can probably take that dumbbell right down to the floor or beside like the foot or the ankle. My mobility is gonna be a little bit shorter. Three, two, one. Side lunge, knee drive, overhead press. Right back out into that side lunge. 10 seconds, then we do alternating side lunges. In seven, In three, two, one, alternating side lunges. Up and down, leg to leg, opposite hand to foot. If down to the foot is a no-go, you're gonna go to the knee or the shin with me. In seven seconds, other side. In five, three, two, one, side lunge, knee drive, overhead press. We're on the other leg now. We did one side. We can do the other side. Big step out, big bend. Eight more seconds, then we rest. We repeat one more time. In three, two, one, rest. One more time through those moves. 15 seconds of rest, then we're back at it. In 12. And seven, keep going with your weight. This is just not that comfy hinging with uh, the babies hanging out right here, or it feels like it, but you guys go with your weights. Side lunge, knee drive, overhead press. Side lunge, knee drive, overhead press. Only 20 seconds. These reps are really quick. In eight seconds, stay nice and wide. We're gonna alternate. In three, two, one, alternate. Nice and wide, big bend, hand to the hips, opposite hand to foot, put all that weight onto the working side. 10 seconds down, 10 to go. You know what's coming up next? We're switching sides for a side lunge knee drive overhead press in five, three, two, one. Side lunge, knee drive, overhead press. How's that control? How's that balance? 
in 10 seconds, we get to rest, we get new moves, and you are flying through this whole circuit. Five more seconds here. Three, two, one, rest. Next up, we are feeling those shoulders, okay? We are gonna do a forward raise hold for just 10 seconds. Then we're gonna go into our forward raises. We're gonna go through those two moves two times, okay? A hold and rest in five. Shoulders down and back. Three, two, one. We're gonna hold it there for 10 seconds, just up at shoulder height. Keep that body straight up and down. Watch that there's no leaning, no arching. Three, two, one. Forward raises, down and up. Just up to shoulder or eye height, lifting with those shoulders. No swing, all strength. No momentum, all muscle. In 10 seconds, we go back to the hold one more time. In five. In three, two, one, hold it for 10. Breathe through that hold, keep that core strong. Get wide, get low if you need help. Three, two, one, forward raise, down and up. Once we get through this, we get to rest. But you know, we do it two more times. We love these sets of three. 10 seconds down, 10 to go. And I got an itch on my head that just won't quit. In five. Three, two, one, and rest. Okay, relax those shoulders. Give yourself a couple arm circles. Shake it out, whatever you need. Stretch it out because we are back there two more times. One down, two to go. Hold, reps, hold, reps. The holds are only 10 seconds. Reps are 20. Here we go for our hold in five. Three, two, one. Let's get that hold in. Stay there. Focus. You got this in five seconds. Rep time, three, two, one, down and up. Whew, round one, never feels that bad. Round two, it doesn't take long for that bird to kick in. 10 seconds down, 10 to go. In seven seconds, we're going back to that hold one more time. In three, two, one, let's hold it for 10. Stay strong, it's only 10 seconds, you're halfway there in five seconds, reps. Three, two, one. Let's see those reps down and up. Watch that those shoulders aren't rolling forward on you and that we're not trying to like lean or swing to move that weight, okay? We wanna stay really stable. Let the arms move and the body stay still. In seven seconds, we get to rest and we repeat in five, three, two, one, and rest. One more to go. Relax. Recover, we're doing it again in 12 seconds. Now just 10 seconds. Why does the work go so slow and the rest go so quick? Let's get it done, five seconds. We ready for a hold? And three, two, one. We're gonna hold it for 10. Yes, we're there, we're already halfway through it in five seconds, rep time. Three, two, one, down and up. Yes, 20 seconds of work, all about those shoulders. A little bit of that upper back, using that core to stabilize you. 10 seconds down, 10 to go. You know what's coming in seven. We got one more hold to do. In five, three, two, one. Let's hold it for 10. Almost there. In five seconds, rep time. Three, two, one, down and up. Whew. Shoulder height. Stay strong in 15 seconds. We get to rest. We get new moves. 10 seconds down, 10 to go. How much work can you do in the last eight? In the last five. In three, two, one, and rest. Awesome job. Next up, we're gonna do alternating canoe rows. So we're gonna stagger that stance. One leg is gonna be slightly in front of the other, not like a full lunge distance, just a little stagger. We're gonna hold both sides of the dumbbell. We're gonna push it back like we're rowing the side, same side as the front leg. Keep switching sides, okay? Then we'll tell you what's coming up next. And let's do it. Stagger and push up to shoulder height over to the other side. Now you can probably push that pace a little bit more. I just have to watch out for my core and that I don't ding my belly with this weight. So I'm going a little bit slower, but you can really kind of push that weight back. Feel those obliques. Three, two, one. Stay on one side. Tap back. Get low and low and up and up 
and low and low and up and up. Low and low and up and up. Low and low and up and switch. Too low, too high, hit two levels. Down, down, up, up, lower, lower, higher, higher, lower, lower, higher, higher, lower, lower, and rest. One down, two to go, 17 seconds. Take a breath, alternating canoe rows. We're back at it in 12. Whew. Feeling those obliques, feeling those shoulders, feeling those legs on those tap backs. Here we go. In three, two, one, let's stagger. Big push up to shoulder height, over to the other side. Push that pace. Remember, your pace is probably gonna be a lot quicker than mine. So you can really work those obliques. I have to really watch that core. Seven seconds, then front wrap for our tap backs. Three, two, one, I'm gonna show from the side. And low and low, and up, and up, and low, and low, and up, and up. Two down, two up, feel those glutes, two down, two up, switch legs, two down, two up, two down, two up. We're getting low and lower, high, and higher, low and lower, high and higher. One more time, low and lower, high and rest. One more time, 15 seconds to recover, hitting up those canoe rows one more time in 10 seconds. Whew, the majority of the circuit is done. We are so close. We can see that finish line. Let's get there. Here we go, three, two, one, stagger and push. Get up to shoulder height, switching sides. Every rep, 10 seconds down, 10 to go. In seven seconds, front rack, top backs, whatever leg you're on. In three, two, one, front rack. Low, lower, high, higher, low, lower, high. Higher, keep going, 10 seconds down, 10 to go, then we switch legs. Low, lower, high, higher, low, lower, switch legs, low, lower, high, high, low, lower, high, higher, 10 seconds, come on, get low, bring it back up nice and slow. In five, three, Two, one, rest. New moves, one last time, okay? We are in a hovering bear position. You're gonna be on your own for the actual hovering bear. I'm gonna be in all fours to protect my core, but a true hovering bear, hands and knees, we tuck the toes under and lift the knees just above the floor, like an inch, maybe two inches max. Flat back, hands in line with the shoulders, knees in line with the hips. You're holding and maintaining that position. No rocking the hips, no moving that back, but at the same time, you're gonna use one hand to move the dumbbell between those raised knees, up overhead. Between those raised knees, up overhead. Not crazy, you're not going like this, you're just bringing it back and forth. Ready, set, let's move it. Knees, up, knees, up. Maintain that hovering there position if you're modifying. You're with me, with our knees on the floor. We're gonna do eight more seconds, then we get to switch sides. In five, three, two, one. Switch arms, knees, and up. Knees, and up. Keep those knees one inch, two inches max off that floor. Flat back, head in line with the spine. Engage those abs, maintain that position. No rocking the hips. In five seconds, leave that dumbbell. Three, two, one, step to a bottom squat, come back down to a kneel position. Step to a bottom squat, come back down to a kneel position. Back to your bottom squat, back down. Try to alternate, which is the leading leg. Five seconds, three, two, one, rest. 
Back down there, we should be feeling those quads, feeling those abs, feeling those shoulders. Hovering there, we move the dumbbell, one hand, then we do the other side, then we stay in that kneel or that all four to step to that bottom squat. In five, in three, two, one. Tuck those toes, lift those knees just off the floor. One arm, move it between the knees and up. If you're modifying, knees are on the floor with me, but we're still moving that dumbbell. 10 seconds down, 10 to go. In eight seconds, we're switching arms. In five, three, two, one. Switch sides, let's get the other side. We did one, we gotta do the other. In 15 seconds, we are leaving that dumbbell wherever it is, we're gonna step to that bottom squat. In 10, in seven, in five, three, two, one, step to that bottom squat, back down to your kneel, alternate which leg is stepping first and dropping back to your knees first, so we're not always going up with our dominant side. Make sure those heels are getting on the floor in your bottom squat position. Five seconds, three, two, one, rest. One more time, shake it out, catch your breath. We are going back to that hovering there, move the dumbbell in 10 seconds. Hands under the shoulders, knees under the hips. Get ready to tuck those toes and lift the knees. In three, two, one. Move that dumbbell. Knees and up. Knees and up. Feel that core connection. Keep that position. No matter what that arm is doing, those knees are level. Those hips are level. That back is flat. Five seconds. Then we switch arms. Three, two, one. Switch it. Same thing, other side. Let's go, we gotta have even limbs. In 15 seconds, leave that dumbbell alone. Right into our kneel, stepping to that bottom squat. In eight, in five, in three, two, one. Let's step, bottom squat. Back to our kneel, back up to that bottom squat. Right back down to that kneel, how those legs feel in. Come on, let's put in that work. We only have eight more seconds. Then we get a big rest. In five, three, two, one, rest. Grab a sip of water, shake it out. Whew, we get a whole minute to chill. While we're resting, I'll explain what's happening. We have one last thing to do before we're done, before we stretch. And that is every single thing that we just did but only one more time, okay? You did three rounds of everything. This is only gonna be one round of everything, okay? Back to back, no rest. We're gonna try to transition as quick as we can from move to move, sequence to sequence. So you still have 20 seconds left. Back to your overhead squats, remember these guys? One last time. Last set, best set, in six minutes, we're done. 10 seconds, take a deep breath. Nice wide squat stance. We're holding both sides of that dumbbell in five, in three, two, one. Let's hold it up. Down and up. 20 seconds. Come on. You got to push yourself here at the end. Whatever you have left, use it up. Sweat it out. Leave it on that mat. In eight seconds, we're going to hold that bottom squat. We're going to go into our overhead presses in five, three, two, one. Stay down. Press it up. Shoulders to overhead. Keep that core strong. Sit back on those heels. Sit into that squat for 10 more seconds while we press. In eight seconds, front grab, squat walk forward and back. In five, three, two, one. Two steps forward, two steps back. If you're not feeling those legs, I need you to get lower. 15 seconds, then we get to stand it up. Overhead tricep extensions. In 10, in seven, in five, in three, two, one. Take it up, bend and straighten. Find your range of motion. Elbows mostly forward, core strong, back supported, body straight up and down, and that body is still. In seven seconds, we pulse at the bottom. In five, three, two, one. Let's pulse, 10 seconds of pulses. Little tiny pulses. In five seconds, we hold. Three, two, one. Hold for 10. Don't let it rest. 
Make those triceps work. That's why we're here in five seconds. Reps, three, two, one. Up and down, overhead tricep extensions. We're almost done with those triceps. Oh, I have a nice little back sweat happening right now. Anyone looking for a sweat update, there you go. 10 seconds, side lunge, into your overhead press, knee drive in five, three, two, one. Opposite hand to foot, side lunge, knee drive, overhead press. Stay on that same side for 20 seconds. Feeling the shoulder, feeling the outer glutes and the inner thighs. Seven seconds, then we stay wide and we're gonna alternate before we do the other side. Three, two, one, alternate. Opposite hand to foot. If the foot is out of reach for you, stick with to knee or to shin. Nice big hinge, bring it back up. In eight seconds, right into the other side. In five, three, two, one, side lunge, knee drive. Overhead press, big step out. Nice control on that drive. Use your core muscles. 10 seconds down, 10 to go. In eight seconds, right into our forward raise hold. In five, three, two, one. Let's hold it. Both sides, right up at forward raise at the shoulders. In five seconds, reps. Three, two, one, down and up. Remember, use those shoulders to lift. We don't need to swing. It's only 20 seconds. You're halfway through it. In 10 seconds, we're going to hold again. In seven, in five, three, two, one. Let's hold for 10. Last hold. In five seconds, reps. Three, two, one. Down and up. In 15 seconds, right into our alternating canoe rows. In 12, in 10, in 8, in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Stagger, push it back, same side as front leg. Increase that speed if you can. Get that weighted cardio in. Feel those abs. Feel those shoulders in 10 seconds. We take that weight to front rack. We bend that front knee. We've got our tap backs. In three, two, one. Too low, too high, too low, too high. Put that weight on that front leg. Let's go. 10 seconds. Then we switch legs. Get low, lower, high, higher. Five seconds. Three. Two, one, switch sides, low, lower, high, higher, low, lower, high, higher. Woo, that's already halfway, 10 seconds. Then we're down on that floor, hovering there. Move the dumbbell in five, three, two, one. Hands and knees, tuck those toes under, lift those knees just above the floor. Dumbbell between your knees to overhead. This is our last 50 seconds. Let's go, let's go. In eight seconds, we're switching sides. In five, three, two, one. Switch hands. Keep those knees up. Your modification is those knees on the floor with me. In 12 seconds, we have your last move. We're gonna leave that dumbbell. We're gonna kneel, step to the bottom squat in eight. In five. In three, two, one, let's go. Step to that bottom squat. Back to your kneel. Back to that bottom squat. Back to that kneel. Halfway there, 10 seconds down. 10 to go. In seven seconds, we're done, we're stretching. In three, two, one, rest. Wow, that was a tough one. Let's stretch it out. Let's start with that tricep. Grab that elbow behind your head. Nice, gentle pull. Whew. You should be so proud of yourself. That was a really hard workout. And we did it. It's over. It's done. Three, two, one. Switch sides. If you are sore tomorrow, stretch it out. Repeat some of the moves we do in our warm-up or some of the static stretching. Continue to move your body. Go for a nice walk. 
in three, two, one. Shoulders moving will help loosen up that body. 10 more seconds here, nice big hug. Shoulder stays down away from the ear. Remember all those forward raise holds and reps. Stretch it out in five seconds, we'll switch arms. Three, two, one, open it. Hug on the other side, big hug. Feel that back of the shoulder, feel a little bit of that upper back. In 10 seconds, we're gonna stretch out your quads. So if you need like a wall or a chair to help you balance, you can make your way over there. In three, two, one, let's stretch it out. Grab that foot, bring it up to your butt. Nice quad stretch. Find that stretch, breathe into it. So many squats, overhead squats, that squat hold, that squat walk. Three, two, one, switch sides. Grab that foot, bring it up. 10 more seconds, then we're gonna stretch out the hips. One more deep breath here, a little deeper into that stretch. Three, two, one, hip. We're gonna cross that leg over, sit down, so bend the supporting knee, push that knee that's crossed over away. And if you have a free hand, if you're balancing, pull that foot up to make the stretch more intense. Feeling the hip of the crossed over leg. Three, two, one, switch sides. Cross it over, push that knee away, sink into that stretch. In five seconds, we're gonna take a nice wide stance in three, two, one. Nice wide stance, let's do a side bend. Stretch out those obliques from all those canoe rows. Nice to relieve that tension in that low back as well. And let's come all the way over to the opposite foot. Now push the hips away from you, away from that foot. And then come on back up and let's do the same thing on the other side. So big reach over, just that oblique stretch to start, keeping the chest open to the wall in front of you. And then come all the way over to that opposite foot. Push that hip away from you. Feel that stretch all the way along that arm, along that back, along that leg. And then come on back up. Let's turn out the toes. We're still nice and wide. Let's get into our PA squat and let's push the knees back with our hands or our elbows. So we get like an amazing inner thigh and hip stretch. Stay there for another breath. And then let's come onto one side into a hard side lunge. So I'm gonna go a little bit wider. I'm gonna come all the way down to the floor. I'm gonna pop up on this opposite heel. You can stay up higher. You can ignore the heel if that's more of your mobility range. And let's switch it over to the other side. Just kind of pressing that heel into the floor, or pressing that foot into the floor to feel that inner thigh stretch. And then I'm gonna to come to the center and I'm gonna slowly walk my feet in until I'm nice and comfy, like shoulder width apart. And I'm gonna roll it on up. We are done. Thank you so much for sweating with me. I will see you in the next one.